Hello my friends, it's Clyde again with PT3D at long last. It's been a while since I've actually recorded a real video, but today we're going to talk about the Z360 Jenny 3D 3D printer. So you ready? Let's get started. Alright, so many questions have been asked of me about the Jenny 3D printer that I have here. Um, there's a great deal that I can cover in this over time, but for now I'm going to keep to the highlights. First, there has been questions about changing the language settings. Uh, they come standard when you refresh or reset the machine to factory settings. I believe it's Chinese. I don't know. It's a... Uh, I think it's a form of kanji. Don't quote me. I apologize. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but that's where I'm at right now. So, anyway, this is a uh, Z360 model. This has the enclosure on the top. It has the 360 millimeter build height on the Z. Uh, this is supposed to be the Ultimaker 2 slash 3. It's a clone. Okay, regardless, it was based on the Ultimaker system, but nothing like it. Um, it's been a interesting endeavor. I'm using the current Cura, um, and I can include the link down below in the description um, to submit my jobs to this. The I haven't got the dual extrusion part to work yet, and in fact, I did take off the second nozzle on this that um, was having some minor issues where when it was coming across the build plate and occasionally if it was a little bit of over extrusion it would pick it up and drag it right off the plate for me a little bit of pre-release so I wasn't too happy about that the stock 0.4 millimeter nozzle I had on this I was trying to calibrate the system around that the nozzle was not um, ideal um, I have I have ranged the temperatures on this from the 190 all the way up to 250 degrees Celsius on this to try and get the extrusion right and uh, it never did come out quite right um, let me show you on this the you can see I don't know if you can see it or not the there was some issues with uh, the layering on this um, there was just small gaps between the layers, which um, unfortunately led to a failure on my uh, e-violin, so I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on that and reprint it now that I have fixed my problem. So two problems that we had. One is the language settings. I'm going to have a video that goes in here right now. All right, I hope that the language settings makes a little bit more sense. Pause it, rewind it, whatever you got to do. Just count the number of clicks. Those should be standard regardless of the language. All the settings are the same. Um, I'm trying to think what else here. The, yes, the 0.4 millimeter nozzle. I swapped it out with the 0.6 millimeter nozzle. I'm running it at the 0.4 millimeter settings through Cura, and I've actually had a much much better quality print um, 
for whatever reason. I don't know if it was a f- just the I don't know what the deal was with that. To be honest, the 0. .6 millimeter works like most of the 0. .4 millimeters that I'm used to using. Um, it laid down a real nice layer. The temperatures operated much more normal. Um, I did not have the extruder clicking that I was having before. Um, I've had to throw out several lengths about this long worth of filament because if you look, you can't see it from here, I apologize, but there are little bite marks all the way through this. Um, that can lead to like layer inconsistencies and well, basically I could fill up my extruder gear with filament, which is not the intent, right? We want to get it on the part, not anywhere else. Okay, so what else? Um, I believe I've been running this at 50 millimeters per second. I'm trying to think of what the standard is in Cura. Um, it's either 40 or 50, and I have cranked this thing up to 115 um, percent of that value based because I, uh, when I export the settings from Cura G Code, I make sure that I'm exporting the settings for the machine so I can actually make adjustments as I go. Only because I've had issues with this printer and I wanted to make sure that everything was hunky dory. The this is a, an example of what I was talking about with the separation. Um, you can see where I'm pushing in. This is actually two layers thick. Um, I printed it as a hollow rock, just for kind of an example. Um, it's very, very thin. If you look, I mean, you could see light coming through this. So yeah, the layers were not perfect. Um, I could not get these layers perfect using that nozzle. The filament kept trying to curl up and around the nozzle instead of coming down nice and straight. So there could have been a blemish in the um, in the nozzle itself. All right, so last things to show you. Um, I know we've already kind of shown and talked about this a little bit, but it's a very nice machine. Um, I don't know that I would necessarily put it on par with an Ultimaker just yet. I'm still testing it. Um, I got some drag marks in here up against the side because the tolerances are just really tight. Um, it's probably an error on my part. But overall, I have been, I've been, I was frustrated for a while with this one trying to get it to print just right, but now that I've kind of got it where I want it, um, I seem to be getting some pretty good consistency and I'm going to keep at it and I will update you as I go. Um, but for now, that's the, uh, the moment for the Jenny, the Z360. So if you have any questions, please post them in the links below or in the uh, you know comments below. Like, follow, subscribe. I'm on Twitter, CB476. I'm on Facebook at Prototype This 3D. I'd love to have you guys following me, and I also always appreciate your comments and questions, as always. So never hesitate to send links to me, or not links, but comments. Um, I'm doing this in a one-shot, so there's no editing. So if I look like a, a tool doing this, I apologize. It's just I really don't like going through all the editing process if I don't need to. It just feels much more natural this way, like I'm having a conversation. So until next time, guys, keep creating, keep innovating, and we'll see you next time.